Hi friends, I'm Dr. Jennifer Jackin, your DOOM teacher. So last video we've discussed about a topic called as witness. So today's topic is about evidence which is almost interrelated to the witness topic, right? So this topic is very important when it comes to 5 marks or 3 marks in your MBBS examination. It could also be asked in your uh, NEET PGS MCQs also, right? So let's get into it. This evidence colloquially means it's something which has been said or something which is being produced as a material in the court of law. But when it comes to forensic medicine, you just can't say whatever you like. So you have to focus more on definitions, definitions, definitions. So what is the definition of evidence? So evidence is defined as all statements that the court permits or requires to be made by the witness relate to the matter of facts under inquiry. I know it's difficult to remember big definitions and just reproduce as such because I just memorized before recording this video. Okay, jokes apart, it's very easy to reproduce the definitions if you understand it, right? So let's break down the definition. Suppose a case is there for inquiry in the court of law. So you as a witness go to the court, you say something or you produce some material that is related to the case so that that will help the court in coming to a conclusion. Okay, so you have understood the definition now. So let's move into the types. There are two big types. So one is direct evidence, the other is indirect evidence. So let's take a scenario. Two boys, A, B and a girl. Okay, a girl likes B boy and the B boy likes a girl. This A boy is jealous of that. So one fine day what happens, this girl and this boy B is sitting in a classroom. This boy A, what does he do? He's a hockey player, okay? And he takes his hockey stick and rushes into the classroom with a rage and he beats this B boy with full anger until he goes unconscious, right? This scenario has been observed by this girl. So she is seeing with her own two eyes. Right? So she is an eyewitness there. So the eyewitness is an example of direct evidence. Right? So the next type is indirect evidence. We'll come to the next part of the scenario. So the boy who used the hockey stick has beaten the person. He doesn't stop there. He just gets out of the classroom and walks in the corridor where he's been observed with a hockey stick which is stained with blood by a group of people. So that has been observed by them. So they don't have any idea what has happened inside the classroom, but they know something is wrong because there is a hockey stick with a blood stain in his hand. So that is a circumstance which has been pertaining to the facts that has happened in the classroom, right? So that is a circumstantial evidence, which is a type of indirect evidence or an example of indirect evidence. And there is another example of indirect evidence where a group of people who observe this incident, they don't stop there. They go running to the chai time where another group of friends are there to share this incident. Okay, so the chai time friends, what they do? Okay, you tell me what has happened. They will hear it. Okay, so that is a hearsay evidence. So a statement which is being given by a person based on whatever he has been got from a third party is a hearsay evidence. So a circumstantial and a hearsay evidence are the example of indirect evidence. So then other classification is there. That is oral evidence and documentary evidence. So oral evidence by the name suggests something which is being told orally, told by the mouth. Whatever has been observed, that is oral evidence. Whereas your documentary evidence means you've been producing some document. It could be any photos or it could be any medical certificate. Okay, suppose a person comes to you for getting a sickness certificate or suppose a person is applying for a job for that a fitness certificate is required. Okay, and when it comes to an autopsy doctor, it's more um, related to PME reports. Okay, medical legal reports. So these are the examples of documentary evidence. There are a few legal sections which are related to documentary evidence. Section 61 to 90 Indian Evidence Act is related to documentary evidence. Right? So there's an important MCQ they might ask you, possibly. So which among the evidence which we have discussed today is the superior most? So without thinking, we'll just rush into to tick the answer as documentary evidence. But it is a big no. The answer is oral evidence. So we as a witness, we will tell few statements related to the facts which we have observed. 
वेर एज द ऑपोजिट पार्टी लॉयर ही जस्ट डजेंट स्टॉप और लिसन देर ही कम टू अस एंड ही विल बी क्रॉस एग्जामिनिंग अस सो दैट ही कैन डेवलप न्यू फैक्ट रिलेटेड टू द केस विच इज अंडर एनक्वायरी सो क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन कैन बी डन इन अरल एविडेंस सो दैट इज वाई ओरल एविडेंस इज अ सुपीरियर मोस्ट वेन कंपेयर टू ऑल अदर एविडेंसेस सो वेन यू बी आस्ट टू राइट अबाउट एविडेंस आस अ answer in your examination write the definition write the types and also the legal section because that will gain you some points and the last mcq point also can be written as a note because that will fetch you more marks right so this is about evidence so if you like this video kindly share to your friends so that they will get benefited so i'll meet you all in the next video let's have a happy learning